Hey everyone, so today we are going to review the announcement of Dolly 3 and I'm super excited to check it out. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. We are starting off strong with the obvious of text and not just regular text, but accurate text. And if we look at the prompt, it says, I just feel so empty inside. And that is exactly what it says here. So I'm extremely excited that Dolly 3 is ready to promote the creation of text using AI. Last few days, I'm sure you guys have seen where I made the videos on using Ideogram because right now that was one of the best programs that created text. So the fact that they are saying that their software now creates text. Yeah, I think they're really trying to take over. That is a huge announcement. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. The quality of Dolly 3 has improved so much from Dolly 2. I mean, there is a huge difference. This is really impressive. I like the hair, the highlights, the shading. There's more depth already. Quality of Dolly 3 is mind blowing. I'm looking at the texture of the wood, the shadows. This is the this is the type of quality that I expect from Mid Journey. So before we get too excited, we do have to look at the announcements because right now Dolly 3 is not publicly available. You do have to check out the timelines for when most individuals will have access to it. So as we can see right here, it says that it will be available to ChatGPT Plus and enterprise customers in October via the API and in labs later this fall. So we have to wait a tiny bit, but not too much longer. So I don't know if it's going to be early in October or late in October, so we still have to see. I did want to highlight this statement right here. The primary message says modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words or descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. And if you watch my video yesterday, I discussed the end of prompt engineering. Why is that? Because these companies are moving towards a corporate model where, where it's going to be task related parameters, which means that they are going to structure their user interface in a way that they're going to make the process much easier. Individuals are not going to have to struggle with prompt engineering, meaning coming up with an idea or theme or keyword specific industries. So I'm extremely excited to see if they're going to try to improve their user interface similar to how Adobe Firefly has their setup. Check out my video. I'll put that in the description, but I think this is an important key variable for people to understand that, as I said yesterday, my predictions are usually right. Companies are going to move towards the corporate style model where they already create parameters for you. All this prompt engineering stuff is not really going to be as viable in the future. They're going to move it towards ease of use. So check out that video. I think you might be enlightened a little bit. Now this picture is rather interesting. We see that there are multiple prompts on the image. So of course we know that there is in painting, but I wonder if now they're going to allow multi prompt within one image. So that would really take things to the next level will allow not only in painting, but saving time by allowing individuals to select multiple areas at the same time and creating different prompts. And these are some examples of Dolly 2 versus Dolly 3. We can see there is a much higher level of detail. I mean, the quality of the images have improved drastically. I'm extremely excited for this update. And here we have a few more samples. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few. I mean, this is extremely impressive. The realism, the texture of the pillows, of the texture, this looks more like it would be like faux leather or even maybe shiny polyester. The rug texture, the light is what I would expect from Mid Journey. So this, this is amazing right now. We have a paper craft style. I mean, my mind is blown, especially the shading shadows, the texture. <laughs> you know, we have an example of illustration, even the smudging. I am, I am speechless, to be honest. I did not expect Dolly 3 to be this good. I mean, there are so many different styles. <laughs> I mean, wow. This looks like my mind is blown right now. I mean, the more I look at these examples, I would love to test this one out on Runway ML. 
this looks so good this would be amazing to make a quick little movie out of it this is so cute I got this poster this looks amazing now this looks pretty real as far as the realism I would give this maybe an 8 out of 10 I'm still looking this is only I think this was a singular example of a person so I'm not sure as far as the realism when it comes to creating people I'm not sure if that's going to be higher quality than mid journey and to be honest Dolly 2 was not my favorite I rarely used it because I was with mid journey or stable diffusion but now with Dolly 3 the fact that it can create text in this level of quality and these are miniatures this is I am speechless right now and I think to be honest if I mean <laughs> the quality of these images it is so impressive this is my favorite one this is so cute but the texture and the shading is amazing as well I will have to humbly say that if Dolly 3 has the same level of quality when it comes to the realism with people now before I even finish that sentence I wonder if they purposely did not include more people in their examples because maybe it's not up to par as far as the realism with my journey so I'm not sure of that but right now the fact that it can create text the text looks accurate. I don't know the percentage wise. I don't think any of us know yet, of course, the percentage wise of how accurate the text will be similar to ideograms. Sometimes it's a hit and miss. But if they keep this level of quality, I think Dolly 3 could be the number one text to image tool. And that is a lot to say because mid journey is amazing. But the combination of the text and the texture, the quality. So a few things I would look for in order for it to beat mid journey, of course, would be resolution, the ability to have different aspect ratios. I would want the realism for people to be as high quality as mid journey. Bonus would be, of course, to make sure that the text is accurate and it could definitely take this seat as the king of text to image tools if it has those extra variables and I haven't even used Dolly for a while because to be honest I did not like the quality of it but right now oh it's making me question it's making me question everything and I wonder if this is going to push mid journey to improve the ability for their software to create text accurately all right guys so let me know what you guys think about dolly 3 and please make sure to subscribe to the channel i appreciate you spending your time with me and i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye